Hello everyone, my name is Rizwan Khan and I am a Technical Account Manager at AWS. AWS WAF supports URI path as an aggregation key for rate-based rules, providing you with enhanced control and simplicity in managing request rates for URI path. With this feature, you can track request rates for URI path and apply rule actions based on the number of requests received. You could already use rate-based rules to take actions such as block or CAPTCHA until the rate of request falls below a certain defined threshold for IP addresses. And we can further had to use scope down statements to write rate based rules for specific URI. AWS WAF supports URI path aggregation key for rate based rules. This feature helps build a flexible rate based rule where IP is not the only factor and focuses rule on particular URI. For instance, you might want to establish a lower threshold for a rate-based rule that specifically examines traffic directed to your login page. A surge in traffic to your login page could indicate a potential brute force login attempt. Ultimately, you might operate an API whose data is part of your public website but don't want it to be easily scrapped. In this case, you can implement more extensive rate limiting on URIs associated with that API to restrict activity in that specific area. In a nutshell, you can track request rates for any URI path without the need for additional scope down statements uh, to specify URIs for rate limiting. With this feature, you can simply create a rule to block users that initiate too many requests to any of your website URI paths and hence minimizing the impact of legitimate user, you can further refine rate-based rules by using WAF match conditions or additional request aggregation key. The screenshot here showcases the web page from WAF console where you can do the configuration of URI path for aggregation key. Use custom keys under request aggregation for the configuration. There is no additional cost for using this feature. However, standard WAF charges still apply. For more information about pricing, visit the AWS WAF pricing page. Let us now navigate to the WAF service to see these features in action. Here is my AWS console for the demo. Search and click on the WAF and Shield service on your AWS console. Once the WAF and Shield service opens up, click on Create Web Actor button to create your Web Actor. Fill in the web actors details page by providing name and click on next. Click on add rules and select add my own rules and rule group. WAF will take you to the rules builders page. Provide the rule name. Click on create based rule radio button. Provide the rate limiting criteria. For this demo, we'll keep the number as 100 as a low threshold. And then click on custom keys. Here is where you will provide the provide your aggregation key. And for this demo, it would be URI path. You can also build a composite key by click on clicking on add a request aggregation key button. For this demo, we'll select source IP address. When we are setting up a rate based rule like this, containing a composite key with URI path and IP address, then we are blocking the attacker who crosses the threshold limit for hitting the URI path regularly. Clicking on the rule action as block and add the rule to your web actor. Click on next to complete the rule configuration. Set up the rule priority and complete the rule configuration. Set up the CloudWatch metrics and set up your web actor. That's it. Your web actor containing your rate based rule with URI path as the aggregation key is finally set up. Thank you.